The tradition of free concerts at HCC Stafford's Fine Arts Center continues. In this case, a show of modern music from the charmingly named Mud Turtle Quintet with HCC professor Mark Rosenberg. This is a project I've wanted to do for quite a while. Um, the idea of playing with other strings, it kind of feels like you're playing with an orchestra, uh, sort of every musician's kind of dream. Uh, not everyone gets to have it, but I can do these quintets with some friends, and it's really great. Um, but what I found so much more enjoyable has been diving in deeper and finding so much more that's been written for this ensemble that even I had no idea existed. Things like what we played tonight, uh, most of those have been written in only the past few years, if anything, or like Frank's piece, which had never been played before. But what I really enjoy about it especially is, one, the guitar, my instrument, uh, is not very prevalent in this city, at least not in this kind of a context, in a classical sense. Um, and then digging even more, the idea of playing string quartets or, or playing these quintets with me involved, uh, that really almost never happens. And so when people have heard these, they've mostly heard just these Baccarini pieces because they are sort of the staple of everything. Uh, so I found it really enjoyable to find these new works and to present them to the public so that they can enjoy uh, some new music as well. Which still leaves the question, why Mud Turtle? Well, we were hanging out uh, at a local bar <laughs> and they had this sort of, uh, this program, the special program that they had called this Mud Turtle program. And if you flip the little page over, they go into this historical uh, account of back in the late 1800s, early 1900s, apparently, uh, before Houston had paved roads and everything, uh, the rest of Texas would call us mud turtles. And they thought we were just full of just uh, drunks and no roads, basically. And so whenever it rained, there was just mud everywhere. And apparently it became a slang term for Houstonians way back when. And so I was reading this and I've been trying to find a name that said Houston without saying Houston since that's where we all met. And I was like, that's it, that's perfect. <laughs> I think the reason why there's more modern works being written for this ensemble, one, because I think guitarists enjoy doing it, um, but also because of technology. Uh, in the Baccarini days, there was no amplification, there was no microphone. Uh, the guitar was almost not heard at all. And in fact, it was, I think, last year? Uh, I actually got to see a concert of these, you know, one of the uh, Baccarini pieces being played. They did it not amplified, and the quartet played unbelievably soft just so as that the guitar might be heard. And so I think because of technology, being able to balance it out a lot better, we get to create more sounds and get more extremes, especially like that last piece that we played tonight, the, uh, the Philip Houghton piece the, in Amber, uh, where you had a lot of really peaceful moments and then a lot of really explosive things that without Amplification, I mean, I, I might as well not have been there. <laughs> so that's at least, I think, part of it. <laughs> Great CC Beat. This is Randall Williams.